everyone, it's your girl Trine, and I'm here with Anthony Hemingway, the director of Underground. I'm so excited because I feel like every time I watch this show, I have so many questions. And what I want to ask you is, what goes on in your mind when you're putting these stories together and in the limited time that you do have to put it together? I mean, I definitely create a lot of brain damage. I'll say that, you know. <laughs> it's challenging um, doing this show in the way that we have to do it. But because we all love it so much and we're so passionate about it, it's almost easy, you know. Everyone comes to work every day with that love and support, um, holding each other up because it, it. We really, behind the camera and in front of the camera, really represent the bond. I think collectively that we need and that that love and support with one another. Um, you know, it's just we do it. You know, it's not just what we are portraying or what we're putting on screens, but we live it every day. Yeah, and I just want to ask you, like, how would you have been able to deal with all the things that were going on back then in that particular era? Like, how would you be able to deal with it? Woo. Through a lot of prayer. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I'm a product right now of a praying family. My grandmother and my mother sent up some mighty prayers to help get me to where I am. And, and you know, as we've shown in the show, I think, and what was so true back then and that that we've gotten away from now is that collective bond, that support, that camaraderie, that love for one another. And to know and realize that you can't do it alone. You know, it takes more than just yourself and all the gifts and talent and skill that you have. It takes everyone around you, I think, to come together arm in arm <laughs> to make it through. <laughs> um, and it's just really great to realize that this show, I think, is a beautiful blueprint for, you know, the healing mechanisms that we're looking and searching for today. What were some shocking details that resurfaced when researching and going into the show that we can't find in the history books? Oh, my God. Like, it's disturbing just to see it, it finally come to life on television, the truths. Yes. It's so many. You know, I think... One of the ones that I'm really excited for is coming up in episode six. It's Harriet Tubman really being peeled like a beautiful onion. You know, she is unfolded like none other. Um, and we get to see the humanity in her so beautifully and how she shared. You know, there's an episode that we keep calling Harriet doing a TED Talk. It's where she got out and started doing public speaking, risking her life to help others. You know, and that's what happens with this season as we come into season, into episode one. We realize that freedom isn't a place that you search for, you know. It's the reality that each of the characters are challenged with to realize that once you are free, what are you going to do with it? Are you just going to be happy and be a citizen or are you going to be a soldier and go back and fight for more? Wow, well, we're just going to leave it there, you know. It's going to be a good night, it's gonna be a, be a great night, yeah. and it's really, really talking to you. I Thank loved you. it, Thank and you. I'm just excited to really just watch it and continue to learn. Thank you. Thank great you team. so much.